It is now easier than ever to update the firmware on your batteries and Signature Solar will send you two of these for free, but you really only need one. Let's jump into it. From time to time, EG4 will actually release firmware updates for their batteries and it's gonna give quality of life improvements. It's gonna help with balancing, at least that's what they say. And it's best practices to always keep your batteries up to date with just about anything. That's just the way we should be doing it. But it's traditionally been kind of a pain to do this. The first thing that you're gonna need is this box here and you can actually go to signaturesolar.com and order one. They will ship it to you for free. It comes with a power cable and this little box here. It's probably like some sort of little Raspberry Pi or something. And then you've got the instruction manual. Use USB Type-C data cable to power the upgrade tool through power supply such as a mobile power and laptop computer. All right, that's not worded really well. Do you need a power input here? You can actually use this guy as well. So you could just do this. All right, so basically I'm gonna put this Oopies power station up here. What we're gonna do is take this long power cable and see if I can get it undone here. All right, here we go. I'm gonna plug this guy in right here and then we can plug this in right here. Light comes on, great. All right, so taking a look at the instructions, first thing we need to do is turn off all the batteries. All right, got them all turned off. And then we have to have the dip switches completely down, all of them down. This battery is all the way down, so we're gonna disconnect the communication cable, and then we're gonna disconnect this guy. All right, so we're gonna flip on this one battery and plug in the power cable to this. We're gonna wait for the boot up sequence. Let's boot it up, we're good to go. We're gonna plug this in, and then we're gonna plug in right here. Now, we're gonna press and hold this for three seconds. And you see the middle uh, green light is blinking. Everything went solid over here and it's gonna take about 60 seconds. Okay, that's it. So we've got these two uh, green lights are back on. It says success. We've got run flashing and our state of charge is back to where it had been. So I'm going to cycle that off and unplug this one. And unplug the second one and we're gonna go back through the same process, except I'm gonna put this dip switch, which has one up I'm gonna go back down, cycle on, wait for the SOC, there we go. Now, it doesn't matter on this uh, V1 life power battery if you go to the RS-485 on the left or on the right. I'm gonna press and hold. All right, so it looks like it finished up over here. We've got our green lights and we're gonna cycle this one back off. Now, don't forget to reset your dip switch to where it that uh, was supposed to be. So I'm going to repeat this process all the way down for the other batteries and then we will set them all back to the correct dip switches and then uh, turn it all back on and see how things are working. All right, so down here I ended up getting an error. It faulted out and I'm like, what's going on? Then I realized I didn't have the dip switches in the right position. So remember to do that. That's uh, kind of important. So I'm going to flip this guy off, flip that down. I'm going to power cycle this and flip this one back on. We'll try it again. Yep, looks like it's finishing up. Now this should go solid here. There we are. I'm going to give it a couple seconds. Flip it off. Reset. And do the last one. So that's it. I'm done with all of these guys. I'm making sure that I've got my dip switches in the correct positions. I've got all of my cables plugged back in and I'm going to start booting these back up. I'm start up here with the master. I'm going to give it a second in between each one. Now I'm hoping that this is going to solve some issues that I've been having. I'm going to have to do a follow up video, but you see my SOC on this one shows two lights two lights, one light, 
two, one, and three. I don't like that. Now that I've got the firmware updated, I'm gonna probably go through and top off each battery individually just to make sure that they're all up to 100%. And then after I do that, um, then I'll just have to see if things kind of stay in line or if it starts to drift back out. If you haven't updated your batteries, go uh, check a link in the description below. I'll put a link where you can get one of these for free. You just go to Signature Solar, you fill it out. And I think there's a code that you have to put in at checkout in order to get it for free. Um, so make sure if you're gonna get one of these that you don't uh, include it in your order if you're buying something else because if you're doing that you want to put in uh, the discount code that I've got below as well so that you can get 50 bucks off your order. Use my discount code, get 50 bucks off, why not? And then get one of these separately and use the discount code that's in the page and um, then try it out. It really didn't take more than about 10 minutes to do all of them. It took a lot longer for me just because I was trying to film this process but uh, let me know if you've had any issues with your batteries going out of out of sync, the, the depth of discharge or the state of charge not staying um, within a, a reasonable range. Um, and because it's been doing this, I've noticed that each, like it doesn't, they don't actually fully charge. So that's been really frustrating. And if anybody else has had that issue where they don't actually go to full charge, uh, let me know. So. Uh, thanks again for watching and you're gonna love this video right here. YouTube thinks it's the best for you And if not check out that one right there. Talk to you on the next one